Hello friends. So in this module, we will see how to find the convolution between two signals. So what is the convolution formula? So if we take x of tau or x of t, this is as the first signal and this is as the second signal. So y of t, we can write it as integral minus infinity to infinity x of tau h of t minus tau d tau. So first we have to write in terms of tau. So x of tau if we write x of tau is e power minus 4 tau and h of t minus tau is e power minus so in place of t we have to replace t with t minus tau because we have h of t minus tau so e power minus 2 into t minus tau and u of t minus tau now we will substitute this in the above formula so y of t is equal to integral minus infinity to infinity e power minus 4 tau u of tau and e power minus 2 into t minus tau u of t minus tau t tau. So here the first step is we have to find the integration limits. We have to find the integration limits. So you know u of t, so here u of tau, so is simply 1 for tau greater than or equal to 0 and 0 otherwise and 0 otherwise. So whereas we have u of t minus tau. So when is u of t minus tau is 1? u of t minus tau is 1 is simply for t minus tau greater than or equal to 0 and 0 otherwise and 0 otherwise. So here the convolution integral, so here the integration is with respect to d tau. So the limits are with respect to d tau. Now we have to find the limits for tau. So here we have t minus tau greater than or equal to 0. So from this we can write, so if we send this t or the tau to the other side, it will become t greater than or equal to tau or we can write this as tau less than or equal to t. Tau less than or equal to t. So here in case of u of tau, it is tau greater than or equal to 0. One limit is tau greater than or equal to 0. The other limit is tau less than or equal to t. So we have to find the common area or the common integration area. So u of tau is 1 for tau greater than or equal to 0. So if you draw both the signals on the tau axis, on the tau axis, so, so this u of t is 1, u of t is 1, so this is 0, 0, so this is u of tau, this is u of tau, it is 1, it is 1 for tau greater than or equal to 0, tau greater than or equal to 0, whereas u of t minus tau, u of t minus tau is 1 only for tau less than or equal to t, tau less than or equal to t. So if you take t somewhere here, if you take, if you take t somewhere here on the tau axis so u of u of 
t minus tau u of t minus tau is 1 for all the values of tau less than or equal to t so that means it is 1 it is 1 u of t minus tau is 1 only for this values for tau less than or equal to t for tau less than or equal to t only u of t minus tau is 1 u of t minus tau is 1 so what is the common area common area between these two products is between these two products is only this is the common area of integration because u of tau u of tau is 1 for all the values of tau greater than or equal to 0 whereas u of t minus tau u of t minus tau is 1 only for tau less than or equal to t tau less than or equal to t means all the values which are on the which are on the less than or equal to t so the common area of integration is r u of u of tau into u of t minus tau is 1 only for 0 less than or equal to tau less than or equal to t so only for this only for this u of t into u of t into u of t minus tau is 1 for 0 less than or equal to tau less than or equal to t. So the area of integration is y of y of t is equal to now the limits instead of now the limits instead of between minus infinity to infinity the limits are from 0 to t. The limits are from 0 to t. 0 to t. One signal we have e power minus 4 tau and the other one is e power minus 2 into t minus tau d tau. e power minus e power e power minus 4 tau the other one is e power minus 2 times t minus tau d tau so here the integration now this it is in the form of e power a minus b so this we can write e power a into e power b so that if you write that if you write integral 0 to t e power minus 4 tau and e power minus 2t and this minus of minus will become plus so that it will become e power 2 tau d tau now here the integration is with respect to d tau so e power minus 2t is a constant we can take outside the integration we can take outside the integration so this we can write it as e power minus 2t and the integration is from 0 to t so this is e power minus 4t and this is e power 2t we can write e power a e power a into e power b as e power a plus b so e power minus 4 tau plus 2 tau it will give e power minus 2 tau so this we can write it as e power minus 2 tau and then d tau so this integration is simply this integration is in simply e power minus 2t into e power minus 2 tau by minus 2 and the limits are from 0 to t now if we substitute the limits we substitute the limits so it is e power minus 2t minus 2 you can take outside minus 2 you can take outside and if you substitute the upper limit if you substitute the upper limit it is e power minus 2t 
minus lower limit is e power minus 2 into 0. E, this is e power 0. e power 0 value, e power 0 value is 1. So, this we can write it as e power minus 2t and this e power minus 2t minus 1 by minus 2. So, this minus sign we can take inside. So, this will be e power minus 2t into this if we take minus sign inside we can write it as 1 minus e power minus 2t by 2 by 2. So, if we take this e power minus 2t inside and if we multiply this we can further write as 1 by 2 into e power minus 2t minus e power minus 2t into e power minus 2t. So, this we can write further, we can write further. So, the final answer is, the final answer is 1 by 2 into e power minus 2t. So, e power minus 2t, e power a into e power b, e power a plus b. So, minus e power minus 4t. So, the convolution between e power minus 2t of t and e power minus 4t u of t, we can write it as, we can write it as the final, this is the final result. This is the final result. e power minus 2t, e power minus 2t u of t convolution e power minus 4t u of t is 1 by 2 into e power minus 2t minus e power minus 4t. So, thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this problem. If you like it, subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.